Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about social media, segmenting your social networks. What goes where? Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Okay, so here we are. Another special screencast, and I'll give you a quick bonus tip because it's not the subject matter of today's screencast, but uh, as you can see, I've got Evernote up here, and I've got Save Searches here, and I can click Daily, and I've got my social network calendar, and I can just double-click the spreadsheet that I've embedded right here so I can show you what I've begun to do in terms of trying to define how I segment what goes where on my social networks. And what I've done is I've laid the spreadsheet out in, in a column format. I have a column for each social network. And as you can see, I've distinguished. I have a personal Facebook page and a business Facebook page. Then there's my uh, social network help group, which I created because people were asking me a lot of questions, uh, you know, trying to get some guidance on how to navigate changes in Facebook a few months back when they started making the changes. And uh, so I said, let me create a group. I searched. I didn't see anything uh, too similar. So I created a group, and now we've got a nice little group of people, uh, mostly people who I'm already well connected to on all the other social networks but we have this one place where we go to talk about social media and blogging and you know anything like that where um, you know people are offering information about here's this tool I found and it works really well and here's what you can do I'm going to post up something else talking about WordPress plugins uh, probably next week so and that was specifically at the request of somebody in that group so it's a it's a channel that I've created because my my Facebook business page for example, is really kind of reserved for the general business stuff and more specifically the QuickBooks questions. So, you know, and that's been a great place for people to come and post questions. So if you have questions about anything having to do with QuickBooks or other productivity tools that I talk about like Evernote and, and uh, any number of other things, uh, Facebook is a great place to come on my business page to, uh, to post those questions. And it's great because it stays there and I can get in there and post a reply. Twitter, the feed comes and goes so quickly that I use Twitter more just for conversation and as you're aware if you follow me on Twitter the, um, I have my feed going up there every hour pretty much another post comes up sometimes more frequently I have actually two different uh, rotations I have I, I, I do it like a radio station I have the heavy rotation and the light rotation the heavy rotation is just the more recent stuff so I have that posting on its own list more frequently and then the uh, the master list is just everything I've ever done pretty much since day one. One going off every hour all week long. So, And I'll talk in another screencast about the tool that I use to, to make that happen. But for now, what I've done is I've, I've created this template in Excel to help me because I've thought about this a lot and thought, what reason do you have for following me on Twitter if you can already get all the same stuff on my Facebook business page? What's the point? And right now, probably for a lot of us, there are only... Uh, you know the best answer a lot of us can give on that is well you might find that I'm on Twitter live right now having conversations with people so at that moment it's a good time to interact with me ask questions whatever whatever you know whatever's on your mind uh, the Facebook page though is really the better place I think to uh, to post questions that you want feedback on you know how to do this I, hey I ran into this things that you obviously don't mind the public seeing but questions nonetheless that you might want to ask about how to do something in QuickBooks or how to use Evernote or somebody posted there recently that um, they were maxed out on Dropbox and what should they do and I posted my responses so so I've, I've laid out these columns where you can and you can of course add in whatever you need to and make whatever changes you need to but I've used this to just make a start at trying to define some sort of a distinction for my own sake so that I can uh, you know make it worth your while frankly to come and join me on all these social networks the other thing I've done is I've created this posting schedule here, which needs to be updated, but what I've done is I've just created a section, what's going on this week, what's going on next week, and I've got my different sections. What's going in is a blog post, and as you, uh, if you really pay that much attention to me, <laughs> then you may have noticed that every Wednesday pretty much is my core post, and usually it's about QuickBooks, and that's the one that's going to get tied into my newsletter that week. So the newsletter subscribers kind of get first dibs on that. They, they're the first ones to know about it, uh, unless you happen to be live on my blog the minute I publish it, because that's pretty much what happens. I record the video, put it up on YouTube. I've already written a blog post by then. I publish it in my blog, and I've already written the newsletter by then. And at that point, I just have to grab the URL from the YouTube video and put it into my newsletter so that people have that to click on. And that gets sent out every Wednesday. But here's how. So now, besides defining 
what goes where, I'm also defining a posting schedule, which I know helps me keep it organized and keep it straight in my head. So I'm going to make this template available for download free of charge. I'm not going to charge you for it. It's too simple for me to, I would feel guilty charging for this. But I am going to be making enhancements to it as time goes on, I'm sure, and making changes. And as I do, uh, those of you who've downloaded it, I'll keep track of your email address so that I can let you know, hey, here's an update on the, on the template I've created. And, of course, if you find that you evolved this thing in such a way that you start using it um, you know, with your own tweaks, please share them with me. I would love to see them. And with your permission, uh, I, if, if I really like it, then I might feature an updated screencast on this and give you credit and, you know, whatever I can do. But uh, so please uh, stay in touch with me. As always, post your comments on, the, on YouTube, on my blog, wherever you're seeing this. We'd love to get your feedback, your ideas, and your thoughts. And especially if you like what you've seen here, if you found this helpful, and if, especially if you you know, appreciate the, the free download, then please help me out by posting your comments because that helps me. It makes, uh, it, it makes the rest of the world think that people actually care about what I'm posting. <laughs> Just kidding, sort of. So um, please post your comments and help me out, uh, especially if you think this has helped you out. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. This has been a special presentation from Nerd Enterprises Incorporated on social media, segmenting your social networks. What goes where? Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for training on this or any other topic that you've seen me cover on YouTube or anywhere else. As always, we record the live session so you can review it as often as you like afterwards.